I always imagined Skopje Pride having this space of freedom and uh, uh, love and safety and joy and celebration all in one for everybody who is participating in it. Uh, I remember we first mentioned the idea about it uh, in January 2013 here in Thessaloniki when we had uh, a regional meeting, kind of, first of its kind, let's say. My first memory of Skopje Pride was actually when my dear friend Antonio told me about the idea of having a Pride in Skopje. And I must say I was really, really engaged by it. I uh, contributed to the first Skopje Pride last year in many different ways. I was doing fundraising, I was organizing the team, I was uh, organizing a lot of uh, side events uh, beside the main program. I was also active in the creation of the Skopje Pride program. Uh, I was also of course involved in the work with the volunteers but also with international partners of ours. So. I was really much heavily involved. It was one of the most difficult tasks I've ever had in my 10 years of activism for LGBT rights and I'm really proud and grateful for we, what we achieved and how we did it. How did I contribute to Skopje Pride? Did I at all? <laughs> yes, because I might have, but as an outsider, as a, as a backup force, maybe uh, indirectly by empowering uh, the Macedonian activists to, as I mentioned before, to that they are ready, they can, they can do it, they can put forward the idea of uh, a Skopje Pride. What, what I have to keep from uh, Skopje Pride, the first one, is the lesson that it uh, taught to us, which is very similar to what the first Thessaloniki Pride taught to us. Uh, we, until then, we tended to believe that we live in very conservative, very intolerant society, that we can't be free, we can't march free, we can't uh, gather in public uh, in freedom. But uh, the events disproved us and uh, and my contribution was actually in the preparations of the Pride. I visited uh, some weeks before and had meetings with uh, local activist uh, organization and also politicians and other official representatives. Balkan Pride uh, is about solidarity, uh, support, cooperation across the borders, networking and exchange of knowledge and experiences. Uh, it is a platform of Pride organizers from the Balkan region and um, it aims to cross every kind of border. We have been known throughout the many years of activism for LGBT rights in the region. Balkan Pride! <laughs> uh, well, for each one of us can mean different things. For me, for me it's my greatest dream. It's also a way to show solidarity because we have a long and difficult path to follow and, and we have to help each other and we know each other, we function in the same framework, we love each other and this is a perfect institutionalized way to do so. It's also a perfect answer to all those who believe that uh, the LGBT agenda is imported here from the West. When support for our causes comes from within the region, then the public opinion stops, to, stops believing that this, these are only Western values. International cooperation is uh, important in the Pride movement because we are faced with uh, diff difficult challenges of growing and emerging movement, anti-gender movement across the world. It takes different shapes in uh, different contexts, political, societal, economic, and so on. This is an international movement, and that we saw when uh, 
millions gathered in New York celebrating the 50 year uh, celebration of Stonewall and see how we are still a protest movement. That's really, really important, but we can also celebrate. International cooperation is important in every field, uh, especially uh, since uh, discrimination based on uh, sexual orientation and gender identity is not a domestic issue. My memories and my surprises from the first Cooper Pride are related to the uh, big number and the variety of types of sources of support we received uh, throughout the whole process of planning it, uh, one and a half year of planning and organizing everything about the Scope Pride. We didn't need any media campaign to, to have for the Scope Pride uh, because it was really uh, largely covered by the media in the past, in the month and a half prior to the Pride Parade. I remember that uh, it was uh, a great feeling having uh, many friends around. I was uh, going around and hugging and kissing each other. I followed it on uh, especially social medias and that was really, really amazing. And I so look forward to the first time I will actually be in Skopje for the Pride. Uh, it set out a very good example for how a first Pride Parade should be, and I'm looking forward to this year's uh, exam, this year's uh, and the next year's uh, Pride Parades, how we will be able to make uh, another uh, space where everybody who participates at will be free to express who they are and will be freely able to love who they love.